The day was beautiful until Today is public holiday, sawa? Lakini mambo bado. Mambo. 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 Tumeanza vita. Major roads were closed, police were deployed everywhere, and the streets were no longer safe. And I had to hide myself in a kayole matatu. Kayole mia, kayole mia, kayole mia. I just got in from town. My head is killing me. My eyes are sore. Today was not a good day. Last year, protesters called on the government to lower food and basic commodity prices, which was seen to go up in recent months and continued to push families to the edge. Maize flour, cooking oil and groceries, among others, are the most affected and still nothing has been done. After Azimiola Umoja coalition leader Raila Odinga's remarks, his supporters answered his call. <laughs> Central Business District was not a place you wanted to be in yesterday because the peaceful protest turned so chaotic real quick. What you're seeing right now is exactly how a couple of roads look like and officers used tear gas to disperse the masses. Guess what? They responded by throwing stones at them, hence me saying the streets were not safe. Yo, ananchi ya kiweza kukabiliwa hapo wakiwa ametolewa kwenye piki piki yake eh, na kukamatwa na walinda usalama. A lot of young men took advantage of the situation, posing as protesters, but in real sense, they mugged and beat up innocent pedestrians on the streets. In the midst of everything, a lot of cars were vandalized. And I remember some guys throwing stones on the highway at innocent motorists. And to some, this was not even a protest, it was like a game. I happened to be on the scene and after multiple attempts of almost being robbed, disturbed by perverts, and both tear gas and stones being exchanged, ah, I had enough and I fled in a Kayole Patatu. That's exactly what happened. Finally, in a bus, safe and sound, but Jogo Road was so chaotic and it's like drivers were in panic mode. Everyone trying to flee for safety because it was no longer peaceful, it just felt so personal, you know. The roads were blocked with stones and you can see the confusion that was at City Stadium. From vehicles using the wrong lane to escape police and angry rioters, to people scrambling for fresh air, Jogo Road was just a mess. Matatus took advantage of the situation and charged almost double the normal price. Commuters looked confused and were very frustrated by what was going on. Imagine trying to run away from tear gas, angry rioters and thieves who are taking advantage of the situation. It was a sad day indeed. Do these were operational and I respect them because I witnessed so many of them coming to the rescue of stranded commuters. 
part of Jogoro was barricaded and had to pass through. And I'm so glad I got home okay. And I hope you are safe on your end. Please, let's keep our country in prayer and let peace prevail. Thank you so much for watching.